Well, it says I'm live, but I'm not sure. Let's check it out. i just got to wait 30 seconds for it to do. And there we go. Out and about in little Germany. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just a quickie from little Germany. So I've got my Franziskaner Weissbier Premium Weizen Dunkel. And I'm English, so I can drink it out the bottle. Now, if you're a Bavarian, this is sacrilege. Drinking Weizen out the bottle is sacrilege. But if you're English, you can do it, because they think we're crazy anyway. Mm. It's a lovely day. I was going to go to State 21, um, but I met the guy this morning who's the uh, general manager there, and Harvey. Hello, Harvey, if you're watching. And I'm going to work out a day where I can go down there and show you State 21. It's the same people that had the... Um, that had the, what's it called, the um, Cosa Casanova, not the Cosa Nostra. <laughs> there was the Casanova. So uh, I'm on my new camera again, just checking it all out. So see who's on, I've got 22 people watching. Hey guys, Michael Ross, you're live, yeah. I'm, I hope I'm not treading on anybody else's toes. Jill Gardner, hello. Afternoon, Tim says, Matman, Evie Blue, hola. Distraction UK, unexpected. It was unexpected actually, but I thought I'd do uh, an out and about in the afternoons because I can be anywhere on the island but I just decided to come down for a beer today. Uh, let me know what the sound's like. I'm on my wired uh, lav mic today and it's connected through my phone so that's not too bad. Uh, where, what are you up to tonight? So what I'm up to tonight is I'm just coming out for a beer and then I'm going to go home and make fried feta cheese with uh, beetroot salad with lime juice. That'd be quite nice. So it's like a, a, a green salad with beetroot in it and lime juice. And some, uh, what I'll do is actually I'll put the lime juice in some, some onions and then the, the onions will pickle for about 10 to 10, 15 minutes, not longer. They'll pickle in the lime juice and then I just mix that with oil and a little bit of um, white wine vinegar or red wine vinegar and chuck it in the salad and that's tossed and that's covered then. Then I take a feta cheese which is you know the little block you get, drain the water, dip it in um, corn flour and then fry it in hot olive oil in a frying pan just enough to cover maybe not half the cheese but sort of like a third of the cheese on the bottom you once you put it in it'll start to to crisp up on the bottom don't move the cheese that's the secret the secret is once you put it in don't move it so you got to put it in carefully once you put it in don't move it and uh, it'll crisp up it'll get like a crust on the bottom so just keep watching the sides when the sides go brown put a spatula underneath it and your fork on top and flip it over uh, the cheese will get soft, but don't let it go too soft. So flip it over and then don't touch it again. So once it's crispy on both sides, take them out gently and put them on a wooden board or, uh, or somewhere to, uh, to cool down a bit and then they go a little bit more solid. And then toss your salad and then serve them with salad. That's, uh, that's it, that's it. And a nice cold beer or something or a nice wine, whatever you want. And uh, jobs are good. There you go. So yeah, I'm just testing, as I said, this uh, this camera. So this is the Lumix GH5 II. I can zoom in on it, so zoom out. It's got auto focus, auto shutter and everything. So I can actually turn you around and you can see where I am. I mean, little Germany there is inside. So does it change automatically? Or do I have to change the, uh, the settings? That's a good question. I'll probably see it later. Anyway, so I hope I'm not treading on anybody's toes. I hope nobody else is live at the moment. I did look and nobody was. Um, sounds good, great. Thought I had my days wrong. No, you don't have your days wrong. I'm just, uh, I just can't keep away from you guys, you know. I just can't keep away from you guys. Good to see you on a Thursday. Hi from Glasgow. Good evening, Tim, says Sarah. So we got Sarah and Alan, Jackie, Yvonne, Ian Miller, Craig, Chris, Jill, Simon, Alan, good evening Alan, Yamaha Rider, Yvonne, Tina, Jimmy England, Distraction UK, Eva Blue, Matt Man, Jill Gardner, Michael Ross and 50 other people. So, uh, 
I just can't keep away from you guys. I got no other friends, that's what it is. Apart from Kirsten, who's one of my favorites, one of my favorite friends. So it's pretty early here. It's only, uh, what time is it? 6.30, I've got to be home by 7.15 because I promised Christina and she said don't come home drunk so if another four of these I've got to stay out all night. <laughs> Also, I'm looking straight at the lens because the lens has actually got a, um, a the sunglasses on it, so I can actually make you darker here. And it should. Oh no, that's, that's, there you go. So it's closed down the aperture now, really, really tight. So the background should be nice and blurry. I should be in focus, and the background should be nice and blurry. But we'll see. What else we got? Autofocus working fine. Alison, okay, that's cool. Let's let's get a bit closer to see if the orca focus. How does that work? Yeah? Yeah? Is it getting on my eye? No, it isn't actually. I think it's too dark. That's better. There you go. No, oh, streaming at 1080p, impressive, yeah. I uh, Actually, the, this will allow me to stream at a very high rate, data rate, and I'm on the third. Uh, there's another two rates above this, but I don't think my connection would, uh, would do it. What I might do is do a test at the highest possible rate to see what's happening. But I think this is good, isn't it? It's uh, at 1080p at six megabits per second. So that's good. High-end smiler from New Zealand. There you go. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a... Um, I'm not in the software tonight, so I'm streaming direct from the, the camera. And that means there's no room, there's no sort of like overlays, there's nothing like that. It's just me and the camera, there you go. Is it Friday? No, it isn't Friday. But uh, what I'm going to do tomorrow, actually, I'm going to go somewhere else tomorrow. And I've got a few um, things that I've taken in during the week, and I'm going to show those tomorrow, so that'd be quite nice. But I'm not staying on long, as I said. I'll probably stay on a little bit. Let's go to live chat and see if there's any more people. Simon, it's like your second home, little Germany. It is, actually, because it's just down the road, so I don't have to drive. And I can have the, my favourite beer, which has got... It's brewed to the Bavarian purity laws of 1516. Or, or 1415, no, it's 1516. Which means you can only use five ingredients. And the ingredients are... Uh, it's actually in Spanish. Where are the ingredients? Best before, end of. Ah, it's on the back, of course. So the ingredients are, so alcohol 5% by volume. And I can't read it. Can you read it? I've got to hide my face so it focuses on the bottle. I'm not sure whether it's focused on the bottle, but there you go. No, still can't see it. I need glasses, my old friends. I need glasses. Mm, so, I'm more uh, Miss Balkan about yesterday, so glad you popped on today. Hi, Tina. Balkan about yesterday was pretty good. Um, what we're doing at the moment was there's 21 blogs that Giuliani's done years ago, about two or three years ago. And basically, uh, Ian Miller has been uh, giving me tips and tricks on my website and stuff and he's become a part of the team and he was watching one of um, the content from Juliani's website, uh, Juliani's YouTube channel, which is linked I think in the description. So Juliani's um, YouTube channel and she had a load of uh, vlogs that are really interesting but n hardly any views. So I thought, well what can we do here? Why don't we reuse these vlogs and discuss them on Balcony Banter? Does two things. First of all, it ups Giuliani's channel um, uh, visibility, and people can go over there and subscribe to that, or watch the watch the ones there. So I do recommend that you go over there and uh, and do that. And so we're helping Giuliani to, to to grow her channel, and she still doesn't put how many followers she's got, but she hasn't reached the thousand yet. So anybody who's not subscribed to Giuliani and likes that type of thing, what she does holistic mentoring and uh, just a bit of fun really she does lots of walks in the in the mountains 
and she adds into it um, bits of advice. So you know what she's like. So if you, that's the type of thing you like, subscribe to her channel. And tell your friends, you know, share the channel. In fact, if you go to Giuliani's channel and press the share button and share on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and all those places, then some of your friends might like that type of stuff and, and go there as well. So it's not just Tenerife, it's to do with a lot of stuff. Wow, Andrew Horseman, thank you so much for the donation there and Jimmy England. It's coming in thick and fast now. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to go home now. You, you bought enough beer for the whole evening. Mm. Notice the roof is on. Is it raining there? It's not raining here. I think it rained here last October. Hi, Darren, Cornish Trader Ook. So it's really warm here today and I'm sat just in the sun so my right shoulder is getting a nice fango but I'm not going to get a tan on my face. I'm good Joe, I've got 50 factor on my, on my arm though. So let me show you around. I'm going to have to uh, carry the phone because if I don't carry the phone I'll lose connection but I can go anywhere with this, it's quite good. So. This on YouTube, I know what they are. This is on YouTube, Zain. Nein? Passion. Aber aber ich muss dich fragen, weil wenn ich ja darf darf man schon, oder? Okay. Hier sind die Leute. These are the Germans in Little Germany having the beer. Hey guys. We got 77 people watching from England and all over the, and, and New Zealand and where else are you from? Wales, Cornwall. So what's the, have you been here before? Yeah, uh, can't you can't speak English? No. No? Uh, what was the show here oft, oder? We sit here oft, yeah. Yeah, genau. And how is the Essen? Super. The Essen is super, I'm saying. So, so, you, um, you understand kein Deutsch, you don't understand German, but the Essen is super. Can you understand? Very good, very big. Here's Kirsten. Hi, Kirsten. Hi, She's the boss. There she is, what a Hello. lovely girl there. And, no, it, it, it looks close, but it isn't. It looks really good. And there in the background is all the wonderful food. The wunderbare food. So we're coming here on Sunday for my birthday. And they're going to do something really special. Axel, Axel said he's going to cook me anything I want. So I want um, Corey Shearwater on toast. <laughs> so let me show you where we are. We're in Muchas Gracias, Dankeschön. So here we are in Romantica. Nobody's here at the moment, but it's quite early. Over there is the Atlantic Company. I'm actually not doing anything here uh, for exposure. It's all automatic there. And this is the Irish bar, Paddy Magintis. And next to it is La Pina on the Mad Hatter. But the Mad Hatter's closed down, I believe. I believe. So there we go, that's where we are today. Sit watching with a Stein of San Miguel, that's cool, Christian Honeybell. And Scots from Tenerife, lovely place, Moira. Quiet, peaceful. Hi Kevin, hi Kevin, hi Kevin, as I've already seen, hi Kevin. Just looked at a little Germany on the street view. Is that you in the place? I actually took the street view photographs of this place. So I got a 360 degree camera and I go into her, to restaurants and stuff and I ask them if they want to do a street view. And obviously I know Axel and uh, Kirsten and they said, yeah, go for it. So I actually did the street view for them. So thank you for looking at that because Google actually ups my um, credibility, my Google credibility, if you uh, go and look at the street view stuff. I'm actually going to do one at Stake 21 down the road as well, not long ago, and in, in a few. Uh, very informative vlogs, keep up the hard work. I will, thank you. I didn't look at the COVID figures today, but I can look live now if you want. So I won't be able to see your um, I won't be able to see your comments when I do this. But let's have a look live at what the COVID figures are today, and um, we'll go for COVID nineteen Canarias. Don't don't open in Vimeo. Oh, I've got to close all these. One, two, three, four, five, and go to COVID nineteen. 
Now, I always get my stuff from the Grav Council, which is the official um, Canary Islands government website. And the government website is very informative, but it's, it's slow on a phone. So you can see, maybe here or not, as the case may be. I've got to block my face. Let's uh, open up, there you go. So at the moment, I've got to turn it sideways so you can't see anything. Ah, oh, there, there is a, a, a thing. So we have now, in the whole of the Canary Islands, 7,412 active cases. And this is as of the 9th of the 9th. Is it the 9th today? 9, 10, 11, yeah, it's the 9th today. So it was 2 o'clock today. So it's quite, act, quite actual. So 7,400 cases in the whole of the Canary Islands. And if we go to Tenerife, you will see 3,234, which is a lot less than yesterday. In fact, it's probably half it was yesterday. So we're coming down really, really rapidly. And if we go into the, uh, the municipalities here, so it's doing very well at the moment. We've got 1,600 Santa Cruz, 490 La Laguna, Adeki is the next one with 400. So we've got 401 cases in Adeki, but we have 50,000 people, so um, they are recovering as we speak. 298 in Arona, that's Las Americas and Los Cristianos, and 143 in Granadilla de Abona, that's down by the airport. Uh, Puerto de la Cruz, 52, which is the lowest it's been. La Oratoba and the rest are under 50, so it's not, nothing to worry about. And if we now look over at the, the spike, I'm not sure whether I can show you this, but I'll try. So this was the July-August spike and it went up and came down. Uh, I don't know whether you can see that. Let me know if you can. And the dailies, that, that gives you a better idea. That, that is the whole thing there, but I don't know whether you can see that. But basically, it's doing really, really well. It is really, really well. And what I'm looking now is for the average Diario Acumulado test, seven day, 14 days. So the seven day test now, we are under, we are way under 50 now. So uh, let, me, let me turn this sideways and zoom in. Oh, notification center. Still like that. Okay, I'm going to zoom in now. And see if I. Okay, I'll screw it. But it's way, it's, it's probably less than 40 now. So I reckon that either today or next week we're going to go down a level, level two. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Did it happen already? Have they mentioned it already? So now I can go back to see what you're saying. It's 18.40 as we speak, and I've got to be home by 19.15, so I think one more beer. <coughs> Out and about in Little Germany, 96 people watching. We've got one, 60 thumbs up and one thumbs down. Thank you for the thumbs down there. And we got the live chat going at... Okay, let's see what you're saying. Una, hi Ali, hi Ali, David. Looking really busy with a great buzz, Tim. It is busy and a buzz. Another great life to brighten up the rainy Aberdeen, says David Borne. Alan Gary, see on the 20th of October, all paid, raring to get there. Fantastic. You know, there's loads of people going to come over now, and I've been contacted by lots of people saying, we can't make Monday nights, can we meet sometime again on the other thing? That's really hard for me. But as I do say, I do go shopping on Tuesdays and Wednesdays after five, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays after five, and I can usually get out uh, let's say Sunday about four o'clock but that's about it and if you can come around to where I'm shopping or if you're in a place with a parking spot outside so if I've got to go and try to find parking and meet you on a be on a beach bar that's not going to work but if you can uh, if we can go to a, a shopping center or something and meet up that's another thing but I do recommend that you plan on Monday night just get the bus 473 to Kaosavaki and come and uh, say hello 
uh, I'm trying to convince Christina to come out. She doesn't want to stay out too late, she said. So I, I was under the impression she didn't want to go anymore. But um, we sat and drank a lot, or I drank a lot. And we had brandies and food and food and food. And uh, so basically, I think she's just saying if we go and have like one tapper and maybe a glass of wine and then go home and have cheese and crackers or something, then that's better than stay for ages. So uh, yeah, we'll be there between 5.30 and 7.30. And if we can get away about 7.30, she's okay. But if she staying till nine again or 10, that's, that's, that was too much for her on Monday. Even though the company was great. Michael, thank you so much, or Michael. Uh, thank you so much. And of course, Mark and Sandra were there as well. And a lot of people came and uh, didn't want to be on camera. If you want to be on camera, that's great. If you look back two or three Mondays ago, I interviewed a couple of people and Giuliani interviewed uh, some people. And that was quite fun, actually. So if you want to come and just tell the story of you, you and Tenerife, that'd be great. OK, on the 20th, so uh, there's always one. What happened? Take five. I'll, I'll see you, Ian. See you later. Uh, what happened? Did we get a troll? I can't remember. Oh, uh, none of you are moderators anymore because I made a mistake and deleted every one of them. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, if you want to be a moderator again and have a little spanner, just send me an email. I'll chat with you and we'll make sure it's the right account because I made a mistake last time. <laughs> Nikki, you remember? So I made a mistake last time and made somebody a, a, a moderator that went and deleted everything. So send me an email and say uh, I'd love to be have a spanner. And um, you, do, you don't have to do anything really because as long as they're not contravening the Google terms of conduct, like swearing, hate speech, all that type of thing, uh, then I really don't mind what they say. You know, if you say, Tim, you're a fat little bugger, then hey, I'm a fat little bugger, so what? And uh, also, we don't bother about if anybody's mentioning somebody that somebody else shouldn't mention. And oh, you, which camp are you in with the vloggers on Tenerife? We don't care about that either. So, uh, just one thumbs down. Ah, that was it. That was it. Yeah. The, you know, the thumbs down actually um, gets counted as controversy, which pushes. <laughs> it does actually push the channel out, saying, "Oh, there's controversy here." You know. So uh, it's a bit like uh, uh, reality TV. So it's quarter to seven now. I've got to start going up. Adrian, hi again, Tim. Did you say hi earlier? I, I know I'm not reading books. Drink a lot sounds good. Drink a lot sounds good. It does. Drink a lot does sound good. I'm going to order one more. Darf ich fotografieren dein Essen? Okay, super. Da machen wir so. Und ich warte, bis alles da ist, wenn ich, ja? Ich warte, bis alles da ist. So I'm going to wait till everything's there. They've ordered some food. I'm going to wait till everything's there. And as long as they don't, I mean, the guy in the corner looks like he's going to scoff it all before I get over there, but we'll have all fine now. And then I'll show you the food here. It is really, really good. And if you book early enough, if you can ask him to cook you anything you want. So if you say, you know what I fancy, Axel, go and get me a succulent leg of lamb and roast it for 30 hours. As long as you tell him 40 hours earlier, he'll do it for you. And if you want a special piece of fish or a special cut of meat or something that you fancy, it doesn't have to be German food. It can be any type of food and he'll cook it for you. So if you want to try the German food, it's great. If you want to stick with what you know, they also do that. So. It's I'm going to go and, uh, oh, they're not all there yet. We're, we're still waiting for one. Eins noch. Es kommt noch. Es kommt noch. Eins noch. Okay. Okay. So I've got to just turn this to lock it so it doesn't fall over. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at this food. Oh, that is a steak with onions. A rump steak. That is a schnitzel. A Jäger schnitzel. This one is fish and chips, is it? No. Fish and chips. In beer teig. In beer teig. This is the same, the rump steak, and that one over there is special. Special. Especial. Lo siento, tengo que mi mascarilla traer. This is Spätzle. So if anybody asks you what Spätzle is, that's Spätzle. It doesn't exist in England at all, and it comes from a different dimension. Ladies and gentlemen, buen provecho, a guten, 
Bon appétit. And thank you that I can record your food. Enjoy. So, here we go. Now I can't see myself. Hang on. There I am. He's a little cutie. He's a little cutie. Uh, I want my spanner back. Jill Gardner wants spanner back. You know, Jill, you got to send me an email because I've got to. I've got to vet you. <laughs> See you, Ian. Okay, I want my spanner. Hopefully, over on Tuesday, the twentieth of September. That's my daughter's birthday. Uh, uh, here we are. Stuart Adams, can you have a spanner and a member badge? Can you have a spanner and a member? We'll we'll find that out. See, I know that it's you, so I'm gonna say add moderator. So Stuart Adams is not only a member with a little badge, but he's also got a spanner now. There you go. Uh, N Smiler wants his spanner back. N Smiler, you got to email me. The only reason is, is I want to verify which ad account address it is. Um, the, the the members are already verified, so I can just I can just touch them. But everybody else, and I know it's you. I'm not saying it's not you, but I need the the actual address of your channel. And uh, if you send me an email with the address of your channel, I'll make you, I will definitely make you a moderator if you want to be a moderator. I thought it must be Friday when I saw the alert. No, I'm going, this is what's called an out and about. So an out and about is me just in the afternoon uh, goofing off on my new camera. That's what it is. Oh, here we go. Uh, streaming at 1080p, there you go. Food does look incredible. Food looks good, hello Moira. Hi, Angry. Looks nice. Jimmy England, can I get my favorite tea, bacon, egg and chips with four slices of bread? You can actually. If you tell him that's what you want, he'll get it for you. You'll get, crisp, you'll get crispy, streaky bacon though. That's what you'll get. Ooh, a badge and a spanner. There you go. And the spanner it doesn't cost you anything. But I'm not going to do everybody as a moderator again because that was... That was before I could limit the chat to subscribers only. But I've also found that if I limit the chat to subscribers only, people who are not subscribed or don't want to subscribe or are watching on TV and you know they, they're not part of the Google ecosystem can't chat either, so that wasn't fair. So I'm just hoping that uh, if I don't have a lot of moderators and the trolls just leave me alone. So there you go. Well, I mean, pie and mash, so boring compared to gym food. Actually, no, pie and mash, if, if that's the London version of pie and mash. Then, um, or is it like Northern Pie and Mash, like State Pie and Mash? Well, either way, uh, that is cultural, fantastic comfort food. And Spätzle is comfort food in Germany. It's a, a Spätzle is like a pasta dough. You know, if you make your own pasta, you know what I mean? It's a pasta dough, but instead of it being rolled or squashed or whatever, you grate it into the salt, salty water. So that's why it's sort of like weird. So you grate it in and then, oh, it's fantastic. And usually you put cheese and stuff on it. Oh, it's really nice. Ian Tim, Michael Lake, Mick and Joe. Hi, Mick and Joe. Off now, Tim, bye, says Tina. I'm actually going now, so Tina, we're going together. Uh, has the weather been good today? It's been fantastic. It's been really warm. If you saw my walk this morning, I was sweating cobs. I've had a shower, now I'm sweating cobs again. But at least it's clean sweat. So it's now 18.50. I have got to order my final beer and walk home before Christina f finds I've gone. And I'm going to make that cheese thing and I'll put a picture up on Instagram. There you go, pie and mash with liquor. Not liquor, liquor. I suppose liquor is better, I don't know, depends what you want. Anyway, ladies and jelly spoons, this is Tim Down for Lim with MS in Tenerife, signing off. Don't forget, tomorrow is Freaky Friday, 5.55. I've got a few things I want to show you. And if you want to come on as a guest, go to timothydow.com slash live and follow the instructions. And if you look nice, I'll bring you on the show. Uh, from Kirsten and me, it's goodbye. And the family over there. See you. Wouldn't want to be you.